It was 10 weeks ago that I interviewed Seth Towns here on SportsCenter when he revealed that he was transferring from Harvard to his hometown Buckeyes of Ohio State to play college basketball. After taking part in a virtual Harvard graduation ceremony Thursday night, Towns was detained by local police officers at a protest Friday night in Columbus, four days after the death of George Floyd, while Floyd was in police custody in Minneapolis. And Seth Towns joins us once again here on SportsCenter. And Seth, why did you decide to be a part of Friday night's protest in Columbus, where you are right now? Absolutely. We have to, we have to be true to who we are and true to our voices. We have to use those voices to impact people. And there is a huge dilemma in this country right now that needs to be addressed. And I won't shut up. I won't stop. I will continue to use my voice to speak out for the people who are unheard. And that's what I did. Voice is so important. And when I say voice, I'm not talking about speaking per se. I'm talking about actions. I'm talking about going out and protesting and doing your duty as a, as a member of this democracy. What happened uh, during the protest there in Columbus, Ohio, that led to your detainment? <clears throat> I was protesting like everyone else. It was a peaceful protest in the street. Uh, they were telling us to back up. We were protesting in the street, and, you know, they just came up and, and about six cops um, put me in handcuffs and put me in the back of a paddy wagon. So, uh, you know, I don't regret anything. Um, again, we, we have to be heard, and this is, this is a very serious issue, and I, I won't stop. Seth, what stands out to you during your time in the back of the police van? Describe that to us and what happened next. Two things really stuck out to me is one, um, the this, this solidarity I felt, the pain I felt amongst all of the other protesters. There was no malice involved. They were just out there expressing their pain and demanding justice, which again, is their duty. And the second thing, looking in the eyes of those police officers, each one standing in the front line. To many, it was just another day on the job, and they felt no remorse. They felt no empathy, no sympathy for the people who were struggling out there painfully protesting. And then the others who were also very scared. You could tell. You could look in their eyes and tell. There are many police officers who did not want to be there. Seth, what do you believe your responsibility is as an athlete to be part of the dialogue and how an athlete can affect it? Absolutely. I think athletes have a unique platform to speak up for what's wrong and to speak as a voice of the people. Uh, you know, people look up to athletes for several reasons. And with this, with this platform, you have a responsibility. Athletes absolutely have a unique opportunity, but everyone has responsibility in this. Very well said, very thoughtful. Seth, so much, uh, thank you so much for joining us here on SportsCenter, and hopefully you have a great fall at Ohio State. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.